What we're doing this year is called the Enchanted Garden in tones of teal and lavender, beautiful flowers that are anchored by silver manzanita. The whole thing is like a fantasy for all of our nominees and our recipients. We call this the largest formal dinner in America, and I think it is. Go online and get Joe Keen's recipe. Get some fabulous BB wine. Get some extraordinary Grey Goose cocktails. They're there. Drink what the stars are drinking. Eat what the stars are eating. If you look at our entree for the Emmys this year, it's actually tenderloin and braised short rib. Uh, that's an entree that can also be kind of made in advance with the short rib, but you could also take the tenderloin and throw it on the grill real quickly. And you can kind of replicate a similar dish that we're doing uh, at the Emmys this year create a salad similar to what we're actually serving at the actual Emmy event. Little gem lettuce with roasted heirloom beets, sun-ripened tomatoes, basil-scented uh, mozzarella, some crispy basil and some crispy kale. It can be easily replicated at your house just by going to a local farmer's market or a local Whole Foods and, and all this produce is readily available there. First thing you need to buy is chocolate, cream, a little bit of eggs. The main component in this dessert is chocolate and malacca, which means a very soft pudding. We're going to be opening with our 2011 Carnero Chardonnay, and then the main course will be the 2009 George Latour. And I think a great suggestion for hosting that kind of party at home is grab a bottle of our private reserve and have everyone that's joining you sign the bottle. It's a great memento uh, and kind of a, you know, a guest registry of the evening. We have decided to bring in something kind of like a chocolate grazing station. So what you want to do is you want to bring in all the pops of colors. You can look around your house, whether it's a vase, whether it's a martini glass, or it is a, some sort of a vessel. Put them on risers, light them up. Every year when I come up with that, you know, beautiful centerpiece for the Emmys, you know, I was thinking about how they can relate to make this arrangement in their homes. But actually, it's not that hard. They have a lot of beautiful branches just falling up in the ground. You can pick one piece just like this, like a manzanita tree. You know, you go to like Home Depot, buy the metallic silver spray paint, and paint that over that natural the branch. And then you read a different kind of greens, fold it into it, and buy some beautiful orchids. And it is how simple it is. It looks so sculptural looking and fabulous, but it doesn't take a lot to make create arrangement like this. Stick with our color palette. You know, let's dress up the room with a little bit of teal and some beautiful lavenders. Have some fun. Put a whole ballad out. Guess amongst yourselves who's going to win. You know, you really have to know that this is a futuristic garden. It's a little bit unusual. So if you want to give your guests any kind of a surprise element, go for it. It's the night to do it.